Every year in the men's NCAA tournament, there's a Cinderella story that steals the hearts of basketball fans around the country. This year, it is without a doubt Jersey City St. Peter's Peacocks, who became only the third 15 seed in history to punch their ticket to the Sweet 16. If you've never heard of St. Peter's, you're not alone. That's why we're here. Let's break down their remarkable backstory and out of nowhere run through the first two rounds of the tourney. So sit back, relax, and take this in. St. Peter's is a small Jesuit university in Jersey City, New Jersey, with only 3,000 full-time students and just over 100 full-time faculty members. Chartered in 1872, the school has only made three tournament appearances prior to this year, never winning a game and never being higher than a 12th seed. The school's biggest claim to fame prior to this year's magical run was beating Duke in the quarterfinals of the National Invitational Tournament in 1968. But despite the school's lack of experience, current head coach Shaheen Holloway is no stranger to the big stage. Holloway was somewhat of a star himself. He was a 1996 McDonald's All-American in high school, even outplaying the late great Kobe Bryant in the All-American game to win MVP. In college, he played a role in another New Jersey team Cinderella run as the fiery point guard for 10th seed Seton Hall's trip to the Sweet 16 in 2000, winning the Big East Most Improved Player Award in the process. Holloway went on to play professionally, both domestically and overseas, before he began his coaching career as an assistant at Iona in 2007 under current Maryland head coach Kevin Willard. When Willard left for Seton Hall, Holloway followed him to his alma mater before signing with St. Peter's in 2018. And Holloway has found his footing. In 2020, he won the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Coach of the Year Award after an 18 and 12 season, St. Peter's best finish since 2016-2017. This year, Holloway's squad won eight of their final nine games and the MAAC Tournament Championship for the first time since 2010-2011, and only the fourth time in program history. But few expected them to put up much of a fight in the NCAA tournament's opening round against number two seed Kentucky, who were 18 point favorites. St. Peter's had previously played only one other tournament qualifying team this year, losing 85 71 to Providence. However, the Peacocks pulled off the shocking upset, beating John Calipari's squad in overtime 85 79. With no five star recruits on their roster, St. Peter's used a balanced offensive attack that kept the Wildcats' defense guessing. Lead guard Daryl Banks III dropped in 27 points and five threes, while the viral hero, Doug Etter, became an internet sensation after dropping 20 off of the bench while donning a now heavily memed mustache. In the round of 32, it was forward Casey Nadefo, whose sole college offer was from St. Peter's, who led the Peacocks to a wire-to-wire -wire win over number seven Murray State with 17 points, 10 rebounds, and a remarkable six blocked shots. Every step of the way, St. Peter's has shown an incredible amount of resilience and toughness. Holloway isn't surprised in the slightest. You no, know, I'm, I'm gonna say this, it's gonna come off a little crazy. I got guys from New Jersey and New York City. You think we scared of anything? You think we run about guys trying to muscle us and tough us out? We do that. The school has obviously received tons of national attention during its Cinderella run, which one media evaluation firm estimated to be worth $71 million in equivalent advertising exposure. To put that into perspective, St. Peter's entire athletic department budget last year roughly $7.5 million. NBC has since stepped in to help send the Peacocks cheerleading squad to the tournament for their Sweet 16 matchup, and has also given every student on campus one month of their streaming service for free. The team's Twitter account has gained over 7,000 followers and a blue check for its part. The last number 15 seed to reach the Sweet 16 was Tulsa, Oklahoma's Oral Roberts University, who bowed out to Arkansas at last year's dance. A 15 seed has never advanced to the Elite Eight, but could St. Peter's break that streak? They've got a tough battle ahead of them on Friday against three seed Purdue and potential top five NBA draft pick Jaden Ivey. In fact, the Boilermakers eliminated the Peacocks in their last tournament appearance in 2011. We know that Hall Holloway and company aren't afraid of the competition, nor the big stage, so it should be one heck of a fight. Now before we let you go, if you're interested in rocking our SCORE gear, check out all our apparel at shop.thescore.com. Go cop a hoodie, crew neck, or tee by hitting the link in the description. We'll see you next time.